Today we are going to be designing and modeling our characters. We will be designing our characters just with colors and paper. And I like to give them as much detail as I can here. So then it's easier to model them knowing what I'm doing. So I'm going to be drawing the boy. He has a hat and there is a pom pom in the top, an oval head, and the two arms with the mittens at the end. It's handy the mittens so we don't have to be modeling fingers afterwards. This is a simple, straightforward drawing. The, what I really would need to decide is what colors am I going to use and what basic shape does he have? We can draw the little eyes and the smile. The snowman is very straightforward, three circles, and then we're going to add the two eyes and the nose is a little triangle and the two stick arms on each side. That's it, then I'm going to use some colors yeah, and I'm going to try to use the same colors of the plate or, or the plastic thing I have. I'm going to make his top. His trousers are going to be blue. And his top. Then... His top is going to be green. I'm going to give him some red boots and red mittens and a yellow hat with a blue pom pom. That's it. We're going to start modeling our characters. I'm going to use this type of plasticine. It is similar to Play Doh, but it doesn't dry up. That means you can reuse it again and again and also you don't have a rush to finish the movie because it's not going to dry while you are doing it. The characters should be small and they should be quite solid, quite chunky. It helps if the feet are heavy, heavier than the head anyway, so you can keep them grounded and they won't topple over when you're trying to move them. This is if you're doing human characters. Sometimes I like making skeletons out of pipe cleaners for my little characters. That means I can move them a bit more without them collapsing or breaking. So this is what this plastic thing looks like. You have to be careful peeling it while if you buy mixed colors, you can also get in separate blocks of color. But I find if you get a couple of mixed colors, you will have probably enough. I do work with basic shapes, like round balls and squares and cylinders. I make these by rolling the plastic in the palm of my hand or on the table. So to make balls, I roll a piece of Play-Doh, piece of plasticine in between my hands, on the palm of my hands, and you can get quite a nice round shape. To make the legs and the arms, it will be like long snakes or sausage shapes. So you can roll it on the table and then you just stick one shape to another to make the torso and the arms and then to make the legs. It is important that you make sure that it's very well stuck. So we put the legs, we put the arms, make sure it's well stuck. Then we're going to add the boots. I will start again with two round shapes and then I wrap some bit around the legs and just make sure everything is really well stuck. 
and then I'm going to make sure they are big and heavy so my character will be able to stand. I'm going to add also the two little red mittens at the end of his arms. Make sure you have the thumbs pointing upwards, okay, um, in both sides. And the last thing I'm going to add, the little yellow hat with the blue pom-pom in the top. I will not give him a mouth yet. We will do that later. My character now is ready. I have to make sure it can stand. So I'm just going to get it up and push it down on the table to make the feet solid. Make sure it can stand. There it is. And you can see the size is quite small as well. You have to make sure it can stand and you have to make sure you can move it slightly forward and backwards so you can do your animation. I hope you're happy with your characters. Thanks for watching. In the next workshop, we will be doing our backdrops and I will also show you how to work the app Stop Motion Studio. Bye.